that a linear system can be converted into a matrix, we can now use matrices in solving for the solutions of our linear system. So for example number one, we have an augmented matrix wherein the coefficient matrix will be 1, 3, 0, 1 and the right hand side is 9 and 2. Converting this to our linear system would look like x plus 3y is equal to 9 and y is equal to 2. So now that we have a linear system, we know that two lines, when it's change into the slope intercept form, it will create a point of intersection and we're going to find the point of intersection of this particular linear system using back substitution. So from an augmented matrix, changing it into a linear system, using back substitution, we'll be able to find the solution of the linear system. Given that the second equation is y is equal to 2, all we need to do is to substitute our line 2 to our line 1 to solve for the value of x. So given x plus 3y is equal to 9 as our row number 1, substituting the value of y which is 2 to our equation will have x plus 3 times 2 is equal to 9, therefore x is equal to negative 3. So the solution of our linear system using an augmented matrix is simply negative 3 and positive 2. So this is our solution or the point of intersection of our linear system. Now let's have another example, but this time instead of using two variables, we're using three variables. So this is a three-dimensional linear system. So from our augmented matrix given by this matrix, converting it into a linear system, we'll have x minus 2y plus 3z is equal to 9, and y plus 3z is equal to 5, and z is equal to, 5, z is equal to 2. Now using back substitution by using the value of z, which is equal to 2, and substituting it to our second equation, which is y plus 3z is equal to 5, we will be able to find the value of y, which, we'll, which we will use in solving for the solution of our three um, variable linear system. So we have y plus 3z is equal to 5, changing z to 2, we'll have y plus 6 is equal to 5, giving us y is equal to negative 1. So now we have two variables for our linear system, the value of z and the value of y. Now we just need to find the value of x by substituting the value of y and z in line number 1. So if we have x minus 2y plus 3z is equal to 9, replacing y by negative 1 and replacing z by positive 2, we'll be able to find the value of x. So we have x plus 2 plus 6 is equal to 9, therefore x is equal to 1. So finding all the values of our variable, we now have the solution for our three um, variable linear system, and that will be 1, negative 1, positive 2.